Hello everyone, my name is Carmelo. For those of you who don't know, I was actually a pastry chef since the 1980s. I've been diving this morning, I went for an incredible dive and I'm just starving and I want dessert and I'm going to make a traditional rice pudding which isn't traditional anymore. Um, it's going to be aromatic, you're going to absolutely love how easy it is to make. Anyone can do this. Give it a shot. Let's do this thing. Okay, so the way we're going to start with this is in here I've got 500 mils of coconut milk. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my coconut milk and I've got here kaper lime leaves. And what I'm doing to the kaper lime leaves is I'm crushing them and twisting them and bruising them. And that what that does is that releases all its aroma and flavor and so on, okay? I've got some lemon zest. I've got four strips of lemon zest that I've just taken off the lemon. I've got here a chili that I've de-seeded, a very small chili, okay? I've also got here half a teaspoon of cardamom. I've also got here, and it's a generous half a spoon, and a generous half a spoon of cinnamon. And instead of sugar, what I'm using here is I'm using plum jam. I'm going to use roughly about, there's about three teaspoons there. There was two heaped teaspoons, but it's about three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that to the boil, okay? And once it comes to the boil, I'm going to turn the heat right down, right down, the lowest that it will go and infuse it. And I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes of just infusion. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Wow, that's awesome. Now, my kaper lime leaves, my lemon zest, my chili, my cardamom, my cinnamon, and even the plum jam, it's been infusing. So now I'm going to add 100 grams of jasmine Thai rice. So I do five to one, okay? Five to one. I've done 500 mils of coconut milk, 100 grams of jasmine Thai rice. Now you can use what, any white grain rice. You can even use risotto rice. Okay. You're going to have to like have a test and see what it's like according to the rice that you use. I've also got here some chopped pears. I love pears and apple in my rice pudding. So I've chopped it up. I'm going to bring it to the boil. I'm going to reboil this. Okay. Now, this is really important. What I'm going to show you now is super important, I find, when cooking rice. Lid on, and now I'm just putting it on the lowest heating that I can possible on this gas stove. For those of you who've got electric, old electric stoves, bad luck, unless you've got an induction cooktop. But with the gas, I put it on the lowest I can do. And there's 20 minutes now where I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it for 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, I'm going to turn the gas off and leave it for a further 10 minutes. And that's it. And then it's going to be ready to devour. Okay? See you in a bit. We had our 10 minutes at the start of infusion time. Then we added the rice. And then we turned the heat down. And we had 20 minutes of cooking time. And then I turned the heat off and just left it with a lid on for a further 10 minutes. Let's see what we've got. Yes, check this people. Check this. Yes, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is just mix all this through. If I wanna let this stand for a little bit more, I can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into a bowl and I'm gonna remove all the kaper lime leaves and the lemon zest and the chili. You can actually eat the lemon zest, to be honest with you. You can eat it. It's Look, this is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, if you want to be really indulgent, what you can do is add some chocolate, some chopped chocolate to it, and just fold it through. For the lemon zest, all I've done is I have peeled a lemon with a peeler, and I don't have any white pith in it. And then just throw in your lemon zest and we're going to blanch it and then just lower our heat and then we're going to poach it for about 10 minutes. So there we have it. We have our rice pudding which is completely aromatic. 
I finish mine with the lemon zest, which has been done in the sugar syrup. It's not sickly sweet because you actually sieve it out. And I've got some freshly chopped mint. So there you have it. Your traditional rice pudding, which isn't traditional at all. It's actually Thai, Vietnamese, Cambodian, I don't know. Paper lime leaves, lemon zest, chilies, cardamom, cinnamon, fresh mint, and even more lemon zest on the top. Like, subscribe, all those sorts of things. Bye.